Hi, Aza here. Today we are looking at another awesome app by Adobe called Photoshop Fix. This is another free mobile app which enables powerful and easy image retouching on your Android and iPhone. Photoshop Fix is available to iPhone and iPad user as a free download through the App Store. Android user can download the free app through Google Play Store. Adobe Fix is a combination of powerful Adobe Photoshop desktop software with the convenience of mobile for creative and easy to use photo retouching experience. We're gonna work with heal, smooth, liquify, and make other edits and adjustments to your personal photo to get the look or output you want. After you download Adobe Fix, just sign in to your Adobe account. If you don't have, just create an account, it's free. Without further ado, let's get started. After you open the Adobe Fix, to add a picture or photo, just tap on plus sign here. Just tap on that. You have so many options here. You can either select from the existing image from camera roll, photo gallery, or take a picture. Also, you can add from the creative cloud or Lightroom. And go to photos, photo, let's add this photo. Perfect. Like other Adobe mobile app, Adobe Fix has great menu to help you to retouch photos. Like that, they have so many options here. As you can see, it has adjustment. You just tap on adjustment. You have set of feature that you normally expect in an image editing application. Here you have exposure, contrast, saturation, shadow, and highlight. You can play with exposure like that. Get the more and less. You can play with the contrast like that or modify the saturation something like this perfect and highlight shadow it's totally based on your photo and what you desire so i don't want to apply that just close it there is another option on the menu it's called color when you tap on color you have popped option it's work when you want color in your photo to pop out so just tap on pop and the color enhance it's very amazing they just a tap your photo enhance by tapping on the check mark here you commit these changes like that Let's say you're in a party or event and you want to share your photo, but there is some other people around and you want to blur their face. We have a cool option here on uh, Photoshop Fix. Go to defocus and you can uh, defocus someone's face or the logo or the name of the road or whatever you want to blur or defocus something like that just select the size of the brush hardness opacity and start to draw on that person face or that street name something like that easily you can blur it's a very cool option and hit apply let's open another photo to review more cool feature back to main and open this photo this is might surprise you but having a blur part of your photo is not always a bad thing in fact a little blur can go a long way for sure you notice how professional photographers love creating a blur background effect there is a good reason for that it helps you to control depth of field to produce image like those captured with an expensive camera lenses let's blur the background here go on defocus select the size of the brush hardness and opacity perfect and start to brush on the area you want to defocus or background you want to blur start to brush here like this some area here perfect and don't forget anytime you want to undo just tab on undo button and you can undo all the way to original file so apply that and let's back to another photo to review more cool feature for example this photo let's check the liquify tab on liquify 
liquefy has face aware liquefy recognition some kind of face feature you can tap on area of the face such as the jaw nose or chin and tap on option for the adjustment you want to make then drag the control to make cropping and correction for example i want to modify the nose just tap on the nose you can play with the nose just tap on that bigger nose a smaller one bigger also you can modify her eyes the size of eyes the tilt height and width for example the tilt when i move this one as you can see the eyes tilt down this way okay and you can play with the size of the eyes get the bigger eyes smaller is totally based on your photo and how you want to retouch it another cool what the lips just tap on the lip you have so many options here upper lip lower lip and a smile i really like the smile just tap on normal face smiley face normal so i like the smiley one i think her upper link is too small more perfect it's just so cool that you can do these kind of things just tap and bring it right up even you can modify facial structure very cool option just tap you can modify the jawline and chin so let's see what's happened bring it up bring it down more v shape face it's cool and the chin also smaller chin bigger it's very cool it's so amazing you can do these kind of changes matter of second let's move on oh almost forgot twelve you can twirl face or object just tap on the twirl like that just other side it's very cool you can give give the different angle to her face it's another great feature you can also warp like that it's perfect you just play with that uh, let's close this one and open another photo to review a very cool feature removing objects close this one back and open this photo let's say you take a photo but there is an object or person you want to remove you can do this with the healing just tap on healing you can select the size of the brush or hardness of it and just wipe over the object you want to remove just like that just look at it's cool let's say you have a piece of trash in the background you want to remove it from a photo just use a spot heel also you have blemish you can spot heal that too you can clone stamp your photo let's say you have grass and you want to add more grass to your photo with the clone stamp you can easily do that use the clone step and patch tool to make more complex healing correction and don't forget the undo button on top anytime you can undo there is another cool feature we have here it's called paint go to paint just tap on paint you have so many options you can modify the size of brush like that or the hardness of the brush opacity and the color you can select the color hit the apply and you can start to draw whatever you like something like here and as you can see it doesn't show a lot because the blend mode is on just turn on the blend mode undo and turn on the blend mode and start to draw like that it's a very cool feature don't want to apply that one just close next is vignette at the end vignette just tap on vignette you can darken or lighten your image color edge by vignette also you can draw attention to your object with a soft vignette vignette can be a powerful when used correctly you can modify the edge like that let's move it to the right and left you can see the changes like that 
we can play with the feather you can see the different here and the shape here and you can apply okay it's totally based on photo and what type of retouching you need to do you need or you want to do just close this one so you get the idea just in a matter of second you can photo editing retouching it's so quick and easy no complex command just using gesture on the mobile device so you can easily share this by tapping on the share icon on top share to gallery or photoshop this adobe fix just an amazing powerful app for free i hope you like this video thanks for watching if you have any questions post in comments and don't forget to like and subscribe